going to be talking about a pen that came in this uh, fancy box. Uh, this was lent to me by my friend Murray. Uh, this is an Armando Simone Club pen. Uh, this is the studio model and this is a pen that they did branded uh, in the somewhat more affordable segment. A lot of Armando Simone pens are well into four figures uh, and this one is uh, to be had for the uh, measly sum of 245 US, which I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, trying to be sarcastic. I mean, in, if you aim for the luxury segment of fountain pens, which already are a luxury product, then yes, it is these days, a, a typical pen is $1,000, many are now $2,000, but this one is more affordable, meant to be more affordable. And I think they've done a very good job. It's a nice pen. So, I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, I will do a writing sample, I will tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and that's it. Let's get started. Alright, let's talk about this Armando Simone Club Studio pen. So it comes in this box which is very colourful and I, I really like it. It's a very happy looking box, which is quite nice. Um, hello friend, you're joining a special tribe, a family that cares about pens as much as a piece of art. So you can register at thepenfamily.com, which is the holding that Armando Simone is a part of. Uh, you have the, uh, the av what I call the avocado net. Um, you, you know what I'm... Uh, sorry, the, no, that's not what I call it. The mango net is what I call this. And <clears throat> you know you don't, but that's okay. And then we have the... That's just the book, so there's nothing else to it. Here we have the pen, the Armando Simone Club Studio. I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'll put it or in the center. Let's compare this quickly to a Pilot Metropolitan just for size. Um, you can see it's a bit bigger, a bit girthier. Nice size. This is not as big as the Bologna Extras, which are very big, very heavy. It's not that big. So I think it's not a bad thing because I think this is a size of pen that works for a lot of people. So I think that's very nicely done. Now the nibs are fine, medium, broad or steel. Uh, it is a number six nib. You can get rhodium or uh, gold trims. It's kind of the 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 affordable line in the Armando Simone lineup. Uh, it's a an Italian resin. It has a brass piston filler, and uh, it's you can get them in in all kinds of colors, which are all very happy colors, which I, I really think is is nice. So we cover the parts of the pen on top here. It says Armando Simone Club ASC on the finial. Then we have the clip with the little wheel, which I think is quite nice because those, in my mind, work very well. Uh, it's nice and springy as well. You have the Greek key that Armando Simone Club has been using on a lot of their pens. We have an ink window. And what I really like about the ink window is that you can see it as the pen is capped, which is just convenient, right? You didn't know immediately how much ink you have left. I don't like piston fillers that don't have an ink window because you don't know how much ink you have, right? Well, then this would be the, the inside there, the piston filling mechanism, and this is the piston turning knob, which I'm not going to operate too much because there is ink in it, as you can see. The cap unscrews. Then we have the steel nib, which is engraved with the ASC logo, and it says B for broad. Uh, it has a plastic feed, which might just be ABS, I should probably be accurate in that, but anyway, it has that feed, it's not ebonite, and then it has the section that tapers down ever so slowly. It's slightly reminiscent to me of a, but to be honest, the whole pen to me is slightly reminiscent of the Leonardo um, pens in, in shape and size, but with the ink window and the, and the filler, sorry, the, uh, the, the piston filler. And the section is a bit smoother. The Leonardo's, Le, sorry, Leonardo sections are a bit more angular. This is a little bit more smooth. I'm not, I just need to emphasize that because these days all kinds of people point out all kinds of things. I'm not insinuating anything, I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying it reminds me a bit of a Leonardo pen with the pointed end, with the shape, the size, etc. And that's all this to it. Let's see what this pen can do as we write with it. So, this is the Armando Simone, oh, that was a weird, oh, Simone Club Studio. 
Uh, the nib is broad steel and the ink is your guess is as good as mine because I borrowed this from Murray and I don't know what he put in. It looks a bit like Konpeki to me but I don't know if it is so I'm just going to write with it and it's a very pleasant writer. Again, the size of the pen is nice, the weight is nice because it's not very heavy, but it's not super light either because it does have the brass piston mechanism in it. And what I really like uh, about it is that it's just a very smooth writer. The broad nib would also be my choice. As you can see, it's not the world's broadest broad nib, but it is a nice line, uh, which I think is very nice. Pleasant writing. Wetness, not bad at all. Line variation, it's a round nib. I am careful because it is my friend's pen, obviously. I wouldn't expect too much in ways of line variation. It's a fairly stiff steel nib, but it's also not advertised as a flex nib. If you want that, buy the Magic Flex nib, which obviously, as the name suggests, offers you more in ways of flex. What about reverse? What about reverse writing? Bit scratch here, but definitely possible. And that's pretty much it. So let's talk about what I like and what I don't like about the Armando Simoni Club Studio. The Armando Simoni Club Studio Yellow Pinnacle. What do I like about it? What do I not like about it? I think there's a lot to be said for this pen, in all honesty. Um, it's affordable. $245 is what I saw on their website. They used to be $195, gone up a bit. I know that's not cheap, but given that many Armando Simoni Club pens are between $1,000 and $2,000 US, $245 doesn't seem to be a, a huge price, right, for that specific brand. Design-wise, I think the pen works. It, it works. It's a, it's a nice size. It's not small, but it's not huge. Some of the Armando Simoni pens are huge and for some people with small hands they're uncomfortable they're also often quite heavy because of the filling system this brass filler uh, sorry piston filler adds a little bit of weight but it's very comfortable it's not a very heavy pen and the size I think is something that works for a lot of people post comfortably you can use it unposted if you want it works a steel nib that's nice and smooth that writes well and I think great design feature the ink window that you can see even while the pen is capped there's thought has gone into that and it works it works really well right it just gives you a, a an idea of how much ink you have left which which i think is great overall i find it comfortable i find it pleasant to use it's a nice writer i don't know what else to say and um, overall again i i find it a, a comfortable pleasant pen other things i don't like about it so much to be fair not really are there more affordable pens on the market? Yes, there are. Uh, are they then also piston fillers? Uh, not necessarily. At $245, could you start to expect a gold nib? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So a 14K nib might have been nice, um, but it doesn't have a 14K nib. To be fair, this steel nib is very pleasant to me. It's smooth, it's wet, it does everything it's supposed to do. So. I mean, I, I, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying at that price, people tend to get to the range where they expect a gold nib, and it doesn't have that, so that's worth pointing out. Having said that, I think it's a solid writer. It's a pleasant pen, it's pleasant to use, it's a range of fun colors to choose from. So overall, I think it's really nicely made and, and just a, a pleasant user, which I think is really, really quite nice. So, I hope this was useful, and... Um, I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye.